morning everybody welcome back to a new vlog today is sunday um i had a whole day yesterday of doing diy i've not done very much to the flat myself for the past couple of weeks but i chose a little project that i was really excited about something i wanted to do for a while now and i've started work on the balcony this weekend Jack is blitzing through the bathroom. There's so much more that needs to be done in there. You can probably hear him and downstairs dog. Um, you can probably hear Jack on the sander right now. He's getting ready to do some painting. I've already been painting. So I've actually painted last night a first coat of paint on what you can see behind me. So this is concrete um, and we've used like a, like a masonry white paint on it um just to kind of freshen it up it wasn't actually that bad it did need a little bit of like sorting out cleaning all that kind of stuff the big project is definitely going to be the floor because the floor needs doing out here as well I've got the paint i'm trying to get it done this morning so that is my morning project so i've got a little bit of touching up to do on the paint work out here this morning i've got my trusty poundland paintbrush yep living it up um and a tub of paint and literally it's just going to need to just top up a few little bits where you can see some like brush strokes and stuff because obviously it's a cheap paintbrush and it hasn't done the bestest job in the world but you know it's an outdoor space you're not going to be looking at it that closely it's just to kind of make it a little feel a bit fresher a bit cleaner we want to get it done while the weather's still nice while um well it's still good otherwise the whole winter it's just going to look a mess out here and actually it'd be kind of nice that every time i did have to come out here to do the washing and stuff actually it felt quite nice and light and airy we are having a light installed up here so i'm just going to show you where that is going to go so jack's going to be installing a little light up here and i think we're going to put a little plug socket down here so if we do need to we can run an extension cable down to the garden as you can see we've actually had some grass grow back which is very exciting um but yeah the floor is going to be painted today so i'm going to be painting this gray um so we've got some gray floor paint that's going out here it is designed for outdoors and patios um and garages and all that kind of stuff um the worst of the paint was like over here so basically over here where it's a bit more exposed to the like weather, um, a lot of it had like chipped off and stuff. So I had to like scrub it down and then um, repaint it. But it's not come up too badly. Uh, I must admit, I'm not the tidiest of painter. And there are a few bits where I need to scratch off um, some of the like excess paint. Um, on the glass but that is for another day um, right now though I just want to give some of these bottom seals another lick just where you can see some of the brush strokes just kind of blend that in a little bit um, I've got a little bit down by our drain which I had to clean out um, which is pretty and missed a few bits it was getting really cold last night as I was doing this so yeah, there's a few little tiny touch-up bits to do down here. So yeah, so that is what I'm going to be doing this morning. This afternoon, I have to get back to filming. I've got 15 videos that need filming in the next two days, which is insane. Um, so much good content coming. I'm really excited. Um, but <laughs> another little thing that needs doing out here. There's two other little things. The first thing is there's like a washing line out here. Um, that actually either needs to come down or we need to... Um, replace it um but that's a project for another day and then the other thing that needs to happen is the handle on the door is absolutely disgusting so this needs a really really good scrub um with something that's a bit stronger than me so yes anyway guys i'm gonna get on and i'll see you in a bit okay so i'm about halfway through i thought i'd just pause and show you how we're doing i don't know if you're actually gonna be able to see this it's so sunny um so i've just been painting this part of the floor um with ron seal garage paint in slate gray it looks really blue like really blue like i wish it was a little bit darker um 
It's also like really thin as well. So it's probably gonna need another coat or two. I would love it to be just like that little bit darker, but it is what it is. And honestly, like, as long as it's hard wearing and it does what it's meant to do, then I'm not really bothered. But yeah, it's really, really thin. Um, if anyone's ever used garage paint before, let me know in the comment section below. Um, but everything else is looking pretty good. I spent a lot of time this morning like repainting down here just because it's quite porous. It's got lots of little holes in it and I just wanted to make sure we got all as much paint in there as possible to give it as enough protection for the winter. Um, but yeah, it's looking not too bad. I'm absolutely not covered in paint. I'm actually doing a really good job at not getting paint all over me, which I'm so happy with. Um, but yeah, now it's gonna start getting a bit tricky because I'm actually running out of space. So this is gonna take about two to four hours to dry, enough for me to go back on it and repaint it again. So yeah, hopefully by the time I finished the first coat, um, I'm gonna go away, do some filming, and then maybe at the end of the day, come back and do a second coat. Morning, 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 morning. So yesterday, today is Friday, yesterday, we did this. Okay, so we've just collected our parquet flooring for the hallway. Um, so how much did this cost? 240. Yeah. 240 quid. It's all got to be cleaned, prepped before it can even go down. So basically this is like tar that has to come off it. Um, but yeah, it looked amazing when the guys who had actually done their floor with it had done it. So we're really excited to see how it comes up. But there is a lot of prep work to do um, for this. Oh my gosh, it's insane how much of it there is. We've got more than what we need. So hopefully there should be enough. So yesterday we traveled back in time. We went and got ourselves some parquet wood flooring from the 1930s. No, no, no. Uh, actually, yes, it is 1930s original reclaimed parquet wood flooring. I think it's come out of a school or a church hall. Um, it is beautiful. It's so gorgeous. Um, we actually went to somebody's house. They had actually purchased a whole ton of it. Uh, from online they actually then went and laid it in their home they showed us what they'd done to it we were then like oh my gosh this is beautiful flooring they had excess left so we purchased from them 12 meters square of the gorgeous parquet wood flooring it's called I think I'm just going to put the name of the wood on the screen um, and basically that will go down in the hallway uh, we have decided to lay it with the bitumen on the bottom uh, because it is incredibly messy. So in case you don't know, bitumen is like tar, which is what they originally laid it with. Um, and we're going to use a special adhesive that will adhere to the tar, um, which is fab. So we're, we're kind of, we kind of know what we're doing with it. It's just messy and it's not something we're doing right now, but I'm kind of glad we got it now because it will take a little while for it to cure in the house, get to the right temperature. Um, and also we got it for an absolute steal. So normally for parquet reclaimed wood flooring, you pay between 40 and 60 pounds per square meter. Uh, we got 12 square meters and we only paid 250 pounds. So, so it's been quite a busy week. Uh, we've nearly finished the bathroom. Uh, we have got a few more things to do in there, not very much. The balcony just needs a final, final like scrape down of some little extra bits of paint and stuff. Um, and next week we have the fitted wardrobes coming and all the new doors are going to be hung. I'm going to show you the bathroom. I'm going to show you how far we've got. I love it. I love it. Love it. Love it so much. I'm so in love with my bathroom. I can't believe how good it is. Um, everyone I show it to just says, oh my God, Jack is amazing. I can't believe he's done this. Um, I'm so impressed. I'm so impressed as well. I think it's fantastic. So, but before we go in, just to kind of let you know, I'm actually doing a massive giveaway on my channel right now. So you can actually win yourself this glossy box advent calendar. I'm going to put all the links and details in the drop box below. Uh, if you want to win yourself 
an amazing gift for Christmas. I will announce the winner of the giveaway when I get to 10,000 subscribers. We are nearly there, so, you know, thought it was a good idea to do a giveaway. Um, yeah, so let's check out the bathroom. Uh, I'm actually going to be filming today living, like a day living in a renovation project. Um, just because I've got a lot to do today but everything is just in the way so it's really annoying um and tomorrow yeah tomorrow um I've got to start ripping out all my clothes and ripping out the studio again because uh somebody's coming to do the wardrobes okay so here is our bathroom door obviously we've got a little bit more extra work to do around the doorway um the door itself needs to be painted um i got these door handles from i think it was amazon um and they were super super cheap and affordable i think they were like 30 pounds for a set of six which is no no 25 pounds for a set of four that's what it was um we only have four doors in the house so yeah so these are gorgeous so Oh, here we are. So all the tiles are down and grouted. Um, the herringbone tiles all around the bath and on the back toilet are now done. The toilet is hung. The lining for this cupboard is going to be what you see here but we just need to tidy it up a little bit more um the bath is fully done the new shower curtain isn't hung yet but just because obviously there's like still lots of paint and stuff lying around in here we don't get paint on it this cupboard has been had another paint inside and just needs now the shelves uh wire for the bathroom mirror got a little sink so cute um and then i suppose the biggest change is we actually have some color in here so this is um the only wall that's gonna have color on um it is just something a little bit different a little extra feature to add a bit of personality into the room so it's not just white um and i really love the contrast between like white and like blue and how crisp it can look and gorgeous so we decided to go for a dark really dark beautiful blue um it is a little bit more shiny than what i thought it would be i really wanted a matte matte finish um but they didn't seem to be able to do that in the bathroom paint with the dulux range which is such a shame i'll put the name of the paint on screen so you can have a little look um, but yeah, so obviously we will have tiles going all the way around here. We are going to have a heated towel rail that's going to come down. Um, and there will be an extractor fan, I think going in this corner or in this corner. I'm not sure yet. Um, but yeah, we have got the doors to go on the cupboards. Obviously, my plan is that the cupboard will open and you'll have like some shelves and there'll be like place for like toilet rolls and cleaning products to go in there and then this one will have like um a plug socket in it so it'll have like my hair dryer um you'll be able to have like um a shaver point there's going to be um shelves for all my beauty products that kind of thing and this one is actually goes up quite high so there'll be some like extra space at the top for like towels and things like that so that's kind of handy. Um, I love the fact that I have this cute little shelf down here. Um, this is just perfect for me putting on um, like my iPad products when I bring them into the bathroom. If I don't want to use like a bath bridge, um, it's just a super little extra space, which is very nice. The only other thing we need to do in here is do silicone. Um, so we've done all the grouting, but um, because obviously the tiles are slightly different and Jack is no expert at tiling uh, there are a few places where it's not perfect especially around the floor line and you can really see it so we are going to just do a bead of like silicon all around the edge of the floor there'll be a bead of silicon here uh, around the edge of the bath 
this silicon we're going to replace just because it's not perfect and it's really bugs me so we are going to rip this one out and do it again and um, there'll be some silicon around here and then obviously the window seal still needs a little bit of attention so this obviously hasn't been done yet um, but that will be the last bit of tiling that Jack probably does mostly because it's such a great place to put all his stuff so yes so in the lounge we've got all our doors which are going to be hung um this week so there's three doors still to hang uh which is basically the one in here uh the one in the studio and the one in the bedroom um we're not putting a door in the kitchen at the moment um just because we're not really sure what we're doing with that so that's that we've got all our parquet wood flooring which is here so this is just basically it's kind of enough for our hallway and then a little bit extra um which is great um and as you can see it's very very messy it's covered in tar it needs a lot of cleaning down and what have you from where it's been taken up and what have you so um yeah there's a lot a lot there to, to kind of get on with once it's laid we'll basically use wd-40 to kind of clean off a lot of the tar um, but also we'll need to kind of prepare some of it anyway because it will need to have um, some of the tar taken off beforehand anyway. So the balcony itself has been prepped for winter um, just because obviously when it gets cold and you've got concrete if you get water in the concrete it can cause it to become more brittle and more damaged so I really wanted to get this flooring down on the balcony before winter set in and we have managed to do that which is absolutely great um so out here um it has just had several licks of paint which is great um i did buy a little sort of like towel rail thing to go over here uh, for when it's like raining and stuff so we can sort of dry clothes off when the weather isn't as nice where you can kind of put it out here and you know you've got all the lovely fresh air and breeze um yeah so we've got this nice little extra area now um and it doesn't seem to be that great but um we can bring it in inside if we really needed to so that's there um jack's run an electric cable through so we can put a little light out here and then um yeah there's just a little bit of work to do around like cleaning off a couple of bits of paint from the glass where we did some of the painting um but yeah all in all it's actually looking quite good we actually also colored um repainted the grate down here so we've basically like spray painted the grate black um but yeah it looks nice and tidy and clean and good and kind of like ready for winter and harsher weather which is what we wanted so yes